Hello everyone, my name is Hannah. Welcome to a new video, a new reading vlog. So it is officially February. It is February 1st. So happy birthday, Rachel from Raven Haired Reader. It's her birthday today. As I'm sure you all know, I love Rachel and um, it just it just makes my heart happy that she has a day where we get to just get to like celebrate her. So Rachel, if you're watching, um, I love you and I hope you had the best birthday ever. So I just wanted to pop on and let you all know what I am reading currently. So as I'm sure you saw, if you saw my February TBR, I have quite the ambitious TBR this month. Um, I do have 10 priority books and then also I have an unofficial list of 28 books that I want to try to read um, in the shortest month of the year because you know why not? I figured I would start the month off with two books that I was not able to get to in January and they were on my January TBR. So that is Ninth House and Hellbent by Leigh Bardugo. So I actually did read Ninth House. I started this yesterday, so before February, and I got like three quarters of the way through it. Um, but I finished it today on the first. So this was a reread for me. I read this back when it came out in 2019 and I absolutely loved it and gave it five stars. And then on my reread, I think I'm also going to give it five stars again. I just, I just really like this book and I like, I think it's so well written and so interesting and like fascinating and I love secret societies and like you know like magic in a world that doesn't really believe that there's magic or that doesn't know about magic and this type of magic that's like gruesome and like not like light and warm and fuzzy and stuff like I just I really like it. <laughs> I wanted to reread this one so I was like fresh in the story going into Hellbent and I remembered like a surprising amount of like the plot of this book like I knew what to expect but also like I just like remembered almost all of the story which I'm pretty impressed by because this came out like three years ago so love that. And then I did start Hellbent as well after I finished Ninth House. I am not quite halfway I think let's see. I'm about 200 pages in right now so I am really liking this. I don't know if I like it as much as I like Ninth House but I am really liking it and I'm very curious to see what's gonna happen because I'm on the edge of my seat especially like after the ending of Ninth House. I'm just like I just want to know what's gonna go down. So this is what I'm currently reading and I'm probably gonna read more of this tonight. I definitely won't be able to finish it but I'll probably end up finishing it tomorrow so that would be great. But yeah, I meant to get to these in January because Hellbent came out in January, but I just didn't have the time. So I'm getting to them right away in February. Um, I do also have a little unboxing to do. Um, my panga order came in. One of my panga orders came in. I love panga books. It is just, I love everything about it. I love that I can sell books and it's like super easy to sell them and then I can use that money to buy new books. I just love that. Oh my god, it's so small. <laughs> okay, so the book that I got on Pango was Angel's Blood by Nalini Singh. So this is the first book in the Guild Hunter series, which is a series that like inspired Sarah J Maas. And I've just seen a lot of people picking this up lately and like talking about how good it is, even though it came out like so long ago. I think this came out 2009 and people were talking about how like if it came out now, everybody would be like buzzing about it. But because it came out so long ago, people have like, like the interest for it has died down, but I think it's making a resurgence. So yeah, this is like a little mass market paperback. I didn't know that. Oh my gosh, it has like this little, look at, it says gothic, romantic, action-packed, funny, and sexy. Sign me up. That sounds wonderful. So she is a vampire hunter. That's I, literally all I know about it. So I, I don't want to like give you a terrible synopsis because I'm really good at giving bad synopses. But anyways, um, but yeah, I wanted to pick this up so that I could read it for the Romanticy readathon. But yeah, I kind of, I actually kind of like that it looks like... Like it's like a little mass market paperback, even though it's a little wider than a mass market paperback. It definitely is like a mass market paperback and it like it looks older. 
I don't know how to explain that, but like it looks like something that you would pick up in like a used bookstore, like a thrift shop. I think I kind of like that vibe. So yeah, I got this super cheap on Pango Books. So thank you, Pango Books, and thank you to the seller, Stephanie, for uh, providing me with a book. All right, so I just really wanted to film an intro for this since I've already finished one book for the month and it's only the first. Um, and I wanted to talk about Hellbent before I got too, too far into it because my next update is honestly probably just gonna be my update of me finishing it. So that is all I have for you for this intro and I will check in with you all tomorrow. Hello, hello. I have a reading update for you. I finished Hellbent today by Leigh Bardugo. So I did really like this. I think this was a great follow-up sequel to Ninth House. I didn't like this one quite as much as I like Ninth House, but it was, it was a solid sequel and I really liked how there was like a found family aspect to this. There was a little teeny like taste of that in Ninth House, but the like crew that Alex puts together for the like main plot of this book um, definitely gives like found family vibes. And I really liked that. I also just really liked how we explored more of like the magic and I don't know. I don't want to say too much because I don't want to spoil anything, um, but I did really enjoy this one. The first half was feeling kind of like four star vibes. Like I was enjoying it, but I wasn't loving it. And then the second half I was like, wow, this is amazing. And I really, really enjoyed it. So that was like five star vibes. So I think I'm gonna go with a 4.5 rating for this one. Yeah, and hopefully we don't have to wait three years for the sequel to this one. So so now my next read I think is going to be Glow by Raven Kennedy. I've just, listen, <laughs> I've just put this book off long enough and I need to read it and I've already, I said in my February TBR that I was like, there was no way I wasn't going to get to Ninth House and Hellbent and that there was no way I wasn't going to get to Glow and A Twist of the Blade this month. Like I even said if I didn't read this this month, I would unhaul it. And I just, I need to read it. I need to get to it. So I think this is gonna be my next read. So <laughs> it's been seven months since I've been saying I was gonna read this. Um, Yeah, I'm gonna start this one, but I probably won't start it tonight because I'm gonna be hanging out with my friend Maggie and we're gonna watch some Parks and Rec, which we've been really enjoying lately. So yeah, that is it for this little update. I do have, um, an unboxing from Pango, but it is just my spare copy of um, House of Earth and Blood so that I can put the A Touch of Magic Design dust jacket on this one, which I unboxed in my last vlog. So I'm going to put that on and put that on my shelf next to my other one. So I'm going to go do that and then I'm going to go hang out with Maggie. So I will update you when I get a little bit of the ways into Glow, probably like 100 or 200 pages in. So I'll probably update tomorrow.
right, hello. It is Sunday now. I have a few updates. Let's see, what was the last thing that I updated on? Oh, I think it was that I was gonna start Glow and that I would update you when I got 200 pages in. Listen, I'm 500 pages in. <laughs> um, and I'm on page 523. And to be honest, there isn't like a ton to update on. Not very much has happened in those 500 pages. Yeah, at first I was like, I'm a little bored. It was like the first 40 pages and I was like, I gotta give it a chance. And then I was like, you know what? It's fine, It's everything's fine. And then I got to be about mm, a little bit past halfway, I think. And then I was getting annoyed because I feel like there are some things in this book that are just like a carbon copy of ACMAF. And I'm not saying that Sarah J Mass has trademarked all of the things in ACMAF or that books can't have similar themes or similar tropes or anything like that. But when it's like so many of the same similar things, it's a little annoying. So I'm a little annoyed and honestly, I'm a little bored. Like I don't, I don't really care that much. Uh, but I do think I'm still gonna finish it because I only have this last little bit left and I don't know, I'm still gonna finish it. I'm just, I'm not, caring really I don't really care <laughs> that's my update on glow um I did go ice skate shopping yesterday and I bought a pair of skates which I think I'm gonna go try out today on the lake that's nearby which is frozen everything's fine uh but I got new skates and I got like a hockey stick and stuff I'm gonna have so much fun and we went to half price books and I actually got a book the book that I bought I have already read and that is a dangerous collaboration by Deanna Rayborn this is the fourth yeah the fourth Veronica Speedwell mystery book and I've been looking for the paperback of this book for months now and it was just sitting on the like recently bought from the buy counter little cart there and so I snatched it up because I had the hardcover of this and I have almost all of the series in paperback and I just want them to match. I know that's superficial but whatever it's my shelves it's what I want so <laughs> Yeah, I'm glad that I, I found that. And then Christina and I had our reading sprints for House of Sky and Breath. We haven't done reading sprints in months for our read along. And so it was really fun to do reading sprints and start this book together. And I made it to page 149 on those sprints. And I'm retabbing with my new tab colors. I've got a new tab system to kind of match everything and I'm having the best time and I really love this book. But I think I'm going to set this aside so that I can finish Glow and I'll finish this sometime this week. But yeah, those are basically my reading updates. I did reorganize my shelves a little bit. Here, I'll show you what I did. So I used to have these paperbacks up here with this sh on this shelf. Um, and that was just like my fantasy romance shelf, but I moved them down because it was starting to get really full and I wanted to have space. So I moved them. I moved some of my fairies around. I also moved a couple books from this shelf. I call this shelf my whimsical shelf because a lot of the stories are like very whimsical and I moved them down into my YA fantasy shelf. And then I have like dark academia books over here and just like some random books over here that were up on this shelf. But I had all of my nostalgia books down here, which are now over there because that shelf was open that all that had was like journaling supplies and papers and stuff. So yeah, I reorganized just a smidge to make some more room on my fantasy romance shelves because they were getting full. So now I've got my paperbacks down here and hardcovers will go up there and I'm quite happy with it. So yeah, that's pretty much my updates for today. I'm going to go probably test out my ice skates now and then I'll probably finish Glow and I'll give you my final thoughts on it. I'm assuming not much will change, but I have heard that the last like 100 pages are really action packed. So maybe I'll end up enjoying them, we'll see, but I will let you know when I finish that and yeah, I will check back in later. Got on the new skates, looking fresh, got my hockey stick, boop boop boop, <laughs> Hee.
it is Sunday night now. I'm sorry if my energy is low. I'm tired. I'm getting sick if you can't hear the congestion. I wanted to update that I did finish Glow by Raymond Kennedy tonight. You know, <laughs> this book is 650 pages and really the only like major things that happen are like in the last 100 pages. There's just like not a lot going on in this book. We do get a lot of um, Slade's backstory in this one, which we haven't gotten much backstory from him. And then there's also like a bunch of like random points of view in this that I'm like, I, some of them I understand why they're there, but they honestly, they did not need to be like that long of chapters, like a couple pages to throw it into like, let us know what's going on with those characters and then leave it at that. There were two points of view that the literal only reason that they were there was to add a side romance. Like there was no other reason for those. They didn't add anything to the plot, anything to the story apart from their insta-love romance. But yeah, like the, the ending, like the last hundred pages, I am still intrigued to finish this series. So when Glow, no, not Glow, this is Glow. When Gold comes out in June, um, I will probably read it. I, I don't know. I have these like really cool editions, um, these like cool hardcover editions, but I might just get that one, get gold on KU and read it that way because I don't know if I'm going to want to keep this series because it's just like, I don't know. It's just fine. I, I was really enjoying the beginning of the series, like Guild and Glint were so short. They could have been condensed into one book, but like they were interesting and I guess like not a lot happens in the first book either. So maybe if I had read this one like right away I would have like had a fun time with it and enjoyed it just as much as the other ones but I don't know. This one was just kind of like I was just like okay let's go let's get you know let's get to the point here like I was just kind of over it so I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm gonna end up giving this one three stars though because like there were parts that I still was like okay this is why I liked the series in the like to begin with but they were also like all of those issues that I had with it so like there were some parts that I really enjoyed um I really like Aaron and Slade when they're together but like as for like the plot of this I'm just like can we move things along <laughs> I don't know. Three stars, I guess, is what I'm going with. Maybe I will change that, like, the more that I sit with it. But, like, it was just, it was fine. It, I don't know. I'm going with three stars. So I am going to continue this vlog through next week because the following week is the Romantic Seat Readathon, and I just kind of want to start a vlog fresh for that. So I'm going to just keep on just keep on going with this vlog. I could continue my reread of House of Sky and Breath, which I really want to. I really love this book. Or I could like pace myself with this and spread it out and like read it only like in the evenings or something until the live show this weekend or like this coming weekend, next weekend. And I could pick up one of these other books, which I have the audiobooks on hold from my library right now. So I do have like a time limit on these and I do really want to get to them. So my first option is The Last Wish by Andrzej Sapkowski. So this is the first book in The Witcher. I think it's short stories. I don't know. Sometimes when I see this it says it's like book 0 0.5 so it's like the prequel almost and then some people say that this is the first book so maybe it's kind of like Assassin's Blade where yes it's the prequel but you have to read this before going into it. I don't know. It's the first one I'm gonna read. So I could read this and I am kind of in the mood for this kind of thing. Or I could pick up Bloodmarked by Tracy Dion, which is the second book in the Legendborn series. Legendborn. Why do I do that? Legendborn. <laughs> I remember really, really enjoying Legendborn when I read it the first time, but I haven't reread it. And I really, like, I remember bits and pieces of it, but I definitely remember the ending of it. So I could read this one. Damn, this is long. It's 550 pages. Jesus. Hmm, what do I want to do? I think I'm leaning more towards The Last Wish. I think I want to start this one. I think I'm going to start this one. I'll probably start the audio on my way to work tomorrow. So I'll let you know how that goes. Hopefully I like this one. So that is it for this little update. I will check in with you all tomorrow. So I will see you then.
All right, hello everyone. I, let's see, <laughs> where do I wanna start this update? We just finished our live show for Rhapsodic over on Sahar's channel, which was really, really fun for the Fan Room Book Club. So I will try to remember to leave that linked down below as well as all of the co-host channels if you want to re-watch that and go subscribe to all of them, that would be great. But let's talk some reading updates here, really just one. <laughs> So I did start The Last Wish by Andre Subkowski today and I DNF'd it. <laughs> so I got um like a like a good bit in. I got to page 125. So I was like a third of the way through the book, okay? And um this was just very clearly written by an old crusty white man who hates women. Like it was just ugh. It was just so misogynistic at times and like unnecessary. Some things were just unnecessary. Like any time a female character was introduced, her breasts were described. Like why? Um, a 14 year old girl? I don't need to know. I, I don't want to know. Okay. Don't describe a 14 year old girl's breasts, please. Thank you. And just like, I don't know, some of the comments, it was just like, icky. I like the Witcher. I like the world. I like the magic. I like the characters. I like the plot. I like the action. Everything about that was fine. Like that part was good. But like, I don't know. It was just too much misogyny for my liking. So I will not be continuing that series. I will not be finishing that book. I'm really annoyed because I was so excited for it. So I'm quite frustrated at the moment with that book. But yeah, now we're gonna move on. Now we're gonna move on. So I don't know what I want to read next. The obvious choice is Bloodmarked by Tracy Dion because I was trying to decide between this book and The Last Wish. And now that I'm not reading The Last Wish, I should just pick this one up. I have the audiobook from my library. I read a recap of the first book. So I'm like all like up to date on what happened. So I can go into this knowing all of the things. But also, I kind of want to reread Strange the Dreamer by Lady Taylor. Uh, this is one of my favorite books of all time. I adore this book. I've reread it several times. Um, and I just, I'm really feeling like reading it. <laughs> I've been binge watching Katie from Katie is Reading. I've been binge watching all of her vlogs and I just watched the vlog where she read this for the first time and like it just made me want to pick it up again so maybe I'll do a reread of this book. I just love it so much. It's so good. I don't know. I'm gonna try to decide between these two. I I should read this one because I have the audiobook from the library and that hold is going to expire at some point but so we'll see. I don't know. I do know that I'm not going to read anything tonight. So I will let you know tomorrow what I decide to pick up. And yeah, I will check in then. I wish that you could see right now how I have you propped up. <laughs> you are sitting on a pen cup with a pen wedged in, holding you in place. Listen, <laughs> I didn't feel like going to grab my tripod, even though it's literally literally right there. Anyways, I made a decision. I'm going to read Bloodmarked by Tracy Dion and I'm going to save Strange the Dreamer for this weekend um, because I did tab it the f in one of my rereads but I want to like highlight and annotate in it and I just want to like sit down and just read like a bunch of it. So I'm going to save this for this weekend. I have a three-day weekend so I'm going to save this for this weekend and I'm excited but yeah I'm gonna read blood marked so because I need I need to I need to so that's my decision that's all I wanted to say <laughs>
everyone i have a couple reading updates for you it's been a few days since i last checked in so i did start blood marked by tracy dion and i finished it i really enjoyed this one i think it's a solid sequel it basically picks up like literally right where um legend born ended so i was happy to see that because i it was quite the cliffhanger ending even though i read the recap of legend born i still feel like i probably should have reread it before going into this one because there were some things that i was like confused on or i didn't remember and i was like wait what is happening what is going on i think there's supposed to be a third book uh just based off of the ending it was again like kind of a cliffhanger ending and the story did not get resolved so there isn't like a third book on goodreads or like an announcement for it yet i don't think um but they'll at least be a third book so i'll be curious to pick that one up when it does come out i will say though my one thing that I didn't enjoy about this was the love triangle from like the first book. I don't want to talk about it too much without like giving any spoilers but you can kind of tell from the cover of this book that we are following one main love interest and I don't like that character so I wasn't here for any of the romance bits especially because we leave off with the main character being like with one of them and now we're exploring the other one and I just like was not a fan of that. Didn't care for that, but everything else I did really enjoy. But again, since it's the sequel, I don't want to say too much because like I could almost feel myself about to spoil like the ending of the first book. So I'm going to, I'm going to set this down, but I think I'm going to give that one four stars. And then I've just been focusing on my reread of House of Sky and Breath and I've made it quite a ways into this one. I think I was on page like 150 the last time I checked in and I am on page 588 now. So I am much, much farther into this and I'm really loving, I know I say this every time I'm like retabbing, um, but I'm loving the new tabs and I'm like adding new tabs in and stuff and oh, I'm just having so much fun and like annotating in this because last time I'm pretty much all I did was tabbed things. I didn't take the time to highlight or underline much at all. Like I did underline some lines from it, but I was mostly just focused on like reading the story. So it's nice to be able to go through um, and actually annotate in it this time. But yeah, again, another sequel that I don't want to like talk too much about the plot because it'll just give, it'll just, you know, it'll just give stuff away. So basically that is what I've been reading. I am not going to be able to finish this tonight. It's already pretty late. Um, so I'll probably end up finishing this tomorrow and then we'll have our live show on Saturday and I'm really, really excited to discuss this one. I can't believe this is the last book of the Sarah J Mass read along with me and Christina. Oh my god, it's just, it's been so much fun. So I can't believe we're already on the last book. But yeah, basically that is what I've been reading. Not much has happened. I just figured I'd give you those couple updates on my reading. So I'm just gonna go and I will check in tomorrow. <laughs> It is Friday night now and I just finished my reread of House of Sky and Breath and oh what a reread it was. I had the best time. I just love everything. I love everything about this book. It's so good. I cannot wait to discuss it with Christina in our live show which is tomorrow at noon. So oh, 
my god it's gonna be so much fun i can't wait i just can't wait so yeah i think i am just going to end the vlog here i i still have another day before i need to start another vlog because the romantic readathon starts on sunday and it's friday night now so i could still like film tomorrow for this vlog and like read a new book but I don't know that I'm gonna do that because like I don't want to try to force myself to read a whole book tomorrow I could I probably could do it I don't know that I want to do that um so I will just end the vlog here so thank you so much for watching this video I really appreciate it I hope you enjoyed I had a lot of fun filming it let me know down in the comments what you are currently reading if you're doing any rereads this month I would love to know about them so let me know down below what you are reading and don't forget to click like and subscribe while you're down there to help support me and my channel and thank you again so much for watching this video and I will see you all in my next one bye